<laughs> All right, you're online. Uh, so who do, who do we have here? T Inc USA. Okay, I'm Terry Kaiserman, CTO of T Inc. This is Andy Ferber. Yes, I'm Andy Ferber. I'm the co-chairman. All right, great. Yeah, a Tell me a little bit about your history. You were talking about it before. All right, T Inc started with uh, Inglehart Corporation back in '96. Uh -huh. and we had a joint venture partnership called Inglehart Colortronics. And uh, we bought ourselves back in 98 and became Colortronics Technologies. And then in 2001, T Inc actually merged with a company called AGE, a design firm out of New York. Uh, the Gentili brothers, Anthony and John, tremendous designers and inventors, uh, predominantly in the toy business. And uh, they were the first to come up with the Power Glove. And one of the inventions was the bend sensor. And the bend sensor basically is a sensor that has a uh, highly flexible silver, conductive silver, and a very brittle conductive carbon. And it goes over a one inch mandrel, and you'll get pre fractures. And it's got about 2,000 angular displacement measurement points. So as the Nintendo Power Glove bends, so does the electronics uh, reading on this for the resistance levels. So when you say it goes over a one inch mandrel, if In I. In order to pre crack it. I see. So if I go uh, to a half inch size, then it might crack. It'll, no, it, it will crack. It will crack. But it'll okay. be even more cracks. So okay. what you want to do is you want to make sure that if you're doing a bend sensor, you want to have uh, exactly where you want the cracks to be. Uh -huh. So if you go over a, uh, a half inch, you're going to get even double the amount of cracks. Okay. Right? So it's pre stressed. Okay. okay. For the bend sensor.